The two governors shared the stage to answer randomly picked questions from chamber members. The first, what to do about the rise in crime, especially violent crime. The way to secure the safety of our people is to put more police officers on the ground. That is why Josh and I raised the salaries the first time in decades for our law enforcement. We saw our law enforcement going to other higher, jo higher paying jobs and we saw attrition. We wanted to keep our public officers. We wanted to keep our public officers so that they can go out and protect businesses, protect homes, protect the schools. If there's ever a state of emergency that needs to be declared, it is with the Guam Police Department and it was with public safety to fight crimes and to fight drugs. We have to get together a multi-agency approach towards this. And it's true, many police officers have been leaving for higher pay. They should receive premium pay above all other public safety officers because their lives are on the line every single day. Another question, why the continued state of emergency? The emergency declaration, no governor has ever had it for this long. They have not included the Guam legislature in this. You did not have a seat at the table. It is simply a matter of them being able to circumvent the procurement process. And you have to wonder, as the Democrats like to say, never let a good crisis go to waste. Who has benefited from this? And at the beginning of this virus, we, the whole world, did not know what to do with this virus, so I used science, data, advice, and by the way, I had an economic recovery team with me that were made up of chamber members, both from the Guam Chamber of Commerce and from the Guam Women's Chamber of Commerce. Gita was part of that. So yes, I worked with the private sector because I know the importance and the impact it makes to you. They were also asked about how to help struggling families with a high cost of living, but the responses digressed and were more telling of the fundamental differences, perhaps, in their personal and political philosophies. It's so interesting that her pet response is, I'm going to give you more money. You see, what's happened is we have created, she has created a, a society now where people are dependent on big government. You comply with me, you listen to me, you give up your favor, your, your freedoms, and I will give you money. I will take care of you. I have pushed money out there. I pushed money to the businesses so they could keep their employees and operate and provide the services for our people. I pushed money to the struggling families out there so they could buy food and put food on the table. I pushed money out to nonprofit organizations so they can continue helping government move forward and continue its operations. That's not big government, that's a humane government. The chamber-sponsored event was the first in what is expected to be several gubernatorial debates ahead of the November 8th general election. For KUAM News, I'm Nestor Leconto.